Hello and welcome. Genitori here. Today's video is going to be about an often overlooked amulet that you can receive because the method of getting it is a bit tricky. It's uh, this one right here. I don't believe this was added in patch 4 as I could have sworn I got it before without doing this method, but perhaps the item itself is able to be found elsewhere and that's what I'm remembering. Anyway, let's get right to the video. As you can see here, I prepared the area around this chest. If this is not your first playthrough, you probably already know that this is a mimic. I thought in the past I received this item without destroying it before it transformed, but today, that's what we will be doing. Don't forget to use left alt key to display loot on the ground easier so that you can find it in the mess. Do not get too close or you may trigger the mimic. Once it is transformed, the amulet will disappear as it is part of the chest's loot and not the mimic's. I believe Patch 4 was meaning to add this item to the Mimics drop the loot, but it didn't happen. I don't recall what other method I did to get this previously, but perhaps I simply destroyed it on my second playthrough in a single hit. Well, all this work, is it worth it? For certain builds, I can see this amulet getting some use. When using spells that require an attack roll such as Eldritch Blast, Fireball, and so on, you can cause reverberation stacks on the enemy. It lowers strength, dexterity, and constitution saving throws on the enemy by one, and they do an additional 1d4 thunder damage and can make an enemy fall prone once they reach four stacks. For some reason, unless they changed it in this recent patch, they have been working to get rid of damage riders on things such as magic missile, particularly. Then it may also work with magic missile. Magic missile does not make an attack roll in normal D&D rolls, but in this game it does, though the accuracy is always set to be 100%. Though, I have seen it miss in odd terrain rarely. The reason I say that this amulet was not added in patch 4 was because I was actually trying to find alternative ways to getting it in patch 3 as I already knew of its existence thanks to a friend pointing it out that it's not just a guaranteed drop, unless you destroy the chest before it becomes a mimic that is. I unfortunately was not able to find alternative means to make this easier on you, but if you have enough barrels, it should be simple enough. That's all I have to say on that. Let me know in the comments if you figure out any additional ways to get this item, and also if you think I should continue using the avatar I displayed in the introduction of this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more Baldur's Gate 3 content. Thanks very much for watching, take care, and have a good one.